one. Can you stand for me quickly? Just stand for me. Come right here, please. I want to make this. Uh, I want to make this transition or this transaction, because this is what it is. These are human beings that's making a transaction with God. They're not making a transaction for us. They're making a transaction with God and a transition in their lives. So I want to make this easy for them. We have a gift for them, and we're going to give them this gift, which includes. Give each one of them. I'm going to tell them what it is. Let me have one of the packages, Aki, so I can tell them what it is. Now, the gift that we're giving to them is something that will help them on their way. One, it's a copy of the Qur'an with the transliteration of the meanings. Secondly, it's a short, easy to read, authentic biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Thirdly, it is a set of seven books. It is a set of seven books that have in it lessons for new Muslims. Now, your acceptance of Islam is your acceptance of God, not your acceptance of me or not your acceptance of these people, nor your acceptance of the political dynamics in the world, because it has nothing to do with that. It's just your acceptance of God. And this gift is to help you make that trans transition. Did everybody receive a copy? You have a copy? Wonderful. I want you to say with me the simple words. And these words are nothing more than what I have explained. There's no trick, no curve, and we don't have a pool in the back for you to dip in. <laughs> Who? Pam. She's, she's right here. Yeah, yeah, she wants to make it in front of everyone. No, she's here. Yeah, but she wants to... Nahi, she's here, Nahi. Please, Nahi. My brother, who, my brother who is, um, and rightfully so, is very concerned and very inspired about one of the ladies who are here. And I also, because she was brought here last night by her son. And I mean, that's profound. That's the most profound gift that a son can give to his mother, and that's certainly the most profound gift that a mother can give to her son. And that's our sister Pam that's here. And I'll meet with all of these. Um, I'll meet with all of these um, fortunate and, um, and special people after we finish our meeting here this evening. But let's say the words. Let's just go over the words called the Shahada the bearing of witness. And I'll tell you what it is. Essentially, it is the saying of that there is none to be worshipped except Almighty God and that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Saying that word and then adding to it, I testify or I declare or I announce 
that there is none to be worshipped except Almighty God, and that I testify or I declare or I announce that Muhammad is the messenger of a God, brings you all into the transition of Islam. From that point, it's your sincerity, it's your acts of worship, it is your commitment that will make the difference. Now whatever you owe God of something you did that only you know and God knows after tonight, your board is clear. Because God is the forgiver of those that come back to him. But whatever you owe somebody, money, rent, a loan, you still owe that. <laughs> is that fair? Okay, please, just say after me the words, La, La, Ilaha, Illallah, Muhammad, Rasulullah, Ashhadu, An La, Ilaha, Illallah, Wa Ashhadu, Anna, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Abduhu, Wa Rasulu. Sallallahu Allahu alayhi wa sallam. Amin. Now, what I want to say to, uh, to you brothers and sisters, and honestly, um, I am truly grateful in the sight of Allah, uh, not because I'm going to get paid for each one of you, because it's not about that. Uh, but I'm grateful because when, I'm look, when I look at you, I see myself 37 years ago. And I do realize, I do realize that sincerity and commitment and straight talking can change a person's life, because it certainly changed mine. And what I want to tell you is that all of you are fortunate because certainly someone brought you here tonight. I mean, your own inquisitiveness, your own concern about life sort of navigated you here or brought you here. But someone, some Muslim who you have as an associate or a relative brought you here. That person is your sponsor. That sponsor should help you work out your problems and your transition. Now because I live in the UK, or because I'm from America, it means that I'll be a long distance mentor, friend of yours, brother in Islam, and open for your, to help you resolve your problems. But the Muslims of Sydney, Australia, and in particular, the sponsor that brought you here, your relative or your friend, those are the people that should work things out for you, yes. That's right. She said, it doesn't even have to be a person that you name because God might have brought you here. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful.